So batches, um, you're gonna get there by clicking that batches tab at the top and you'll see this page here. So the idea here is that um, you have two groups of batches. There's either in progress batches, which really means those are the batches that you're still working on, and you have committed batches, which those are the finalized batches, and those mean that you um, have sent a receipt to the donor, and any changes to those donations um, will be logged in your uh, system log. So let's show real quick what it looks like to set up uh, a new batch and get ready to collect that. So the first thing is I wanna set up a new group I wanna mention as I'm doing this that you can set this up in any way that makes sense to your church. Um, we'll say this is gonna be for Sunday. Uh, what is today's date? It's the 19th. So the Sunday was, let me, I'm doing math now. Like what was the, what was the Sunday? We'll say the 16th, I believe. Um, so January 16th. And um, I'm gonna save that group. And then now that I've had a group or set up a group already, what I typically suggest if you are kind of looking for a suggestion as to how to set this up is setting up a batch group for every week or service that you have, and then you can set up some batches under that for your cash and check donations so you can keep those separate. So I'm going to create a new batch under that group. You'll notice it starts here, and I'm gonna say cash, save that, and then create one more batch here for checks. Okay, great. So now that's as easy as it is, super quick. Again, we have the batch group for the 16th of January, and then we have checks and cash ready to go. So um, first let's start with a uh, cash donation that comes from someone who put their name on their envelope. We're gonna use Ashley as an example again. So Ashley's profile is here. I'll just search for the donor first, select her, and then I'm going to say a $50 donation to the general fund. Uh, the received date being the 16th. I'm so glad I picked the right date. And we'll say, again, we're doing a cash donation, so we'll want the payment method to be cash. Here you can also, by default, her campus will show up. Um, that's based on how it's set in the people product, but you can also adjust that if she's giving um, from a different campus there as well. You can also set donation labels if you wanna use that as well to uh, organize your donations, but that's all you'll need to do and click next, and you'll see that donation is added here. And then it's right now in progress, but it will be added to uh, Ashley's profile as a committed donation once we complete all of these donations. Okay, so the next thing is like maybe you in the cash batch, you also will receive an anonymous cash donation. So a lot of times that happens where people just drop cash in the offering plate. And the way you'll do that is you'll just search for anonymous and you'll see that there's actually a button for anonymous donor right here. So we'll say $100 just to the general fund the received date of the 16th and it's cash. Okay, great, and then we'll just hit next and that's as quick as that is. So um, even though that is a super fast process, there are a couple of tools that'll help you kind of speed this process up. The first one I wanna show you is, I'm gonna move over to our checks and I wanna show you the batch defaults tool. So you'll see here in gray, you can click that. The idea here is that we've seen this form a couple times as I was adding those cash donations but you're able to pre-select options on your uh, on your batch donation or batch form here that'll allow you to group similar donations together or count them all really quickly. So for example, if all of the donations that I'm counting right now are for the general fund, I can select that. And we know they all came in on the 16th on Sunday. And they because we're working with our checks batch right now, we know that the payment method is gonna be check. So yeah, we can save all of that. So now when I add a um, check donation, I can search for Ashley and you'll notice that all of those, um, fun, those fields are already pre-selected. So there's general, all that. So all I have to do now is just add a donation and all that, is inf all that information is already pre-selected and I can hit next. And that makes it a lot quicker, especially if you're doing multiple checks or multiple donations that are similar one after the other. Another tool that you could use is keyboard shortcuts. Um, these are going to be a little bit different for each uh, platform, but if you notice, um, I'll show you like what that looks like on a donation real quick. It's Ashley, and you'll see, what you do is you just hit it on. Um, um, you'll be able to see keyboard shortcuts up here in the top right corner. So again, because it's different for Mac versus Windows, you'll want to click that just to see which of those options you can use for your platform. 
And then the last thing I was gonna mention is just check readers. So um, check readers allow you to assign a MICR number from a check to a donor's profile. So the first time they give, you'll scan that check, you'll select that donor, enter their information and finish the donation. Um, the next time that donor gives using a check from the same account so that MICR number matches, you just can scan that check and it'll pull up the donor's profile right away. And that way you don't have to type in their name and then you can just add the, de the details of the check and then you can um, complete that process. So there's a great tutorial online that if you wanted to get some information about what check readers are supported and how to um, set those up and troubleshoot those things, uh, the tutorial online for check readers is great for that. All right, so um, the last part of this process now is we want to commit these donations. So now, because that group is grouped together, cash and checks, you'll commit them like this. And what happens now is once that process completes, the donor will get a donation uh, receipt and all of those um, donations now will count towards their donation history on their profile as well.